What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7 on your iPhone 4 using RageBreak. Now this is only going to work on your Mac and it's only going to work on the iPhone 4. So in order to do this you are going to have to go to this website, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on. And then all you need to do is click right here, jailbreak for iPhone 4. I've actually already downloaded this so I'm not going to download it again but I should have it in here somewhere right here okay so let's go ahead and open that up and we'll double click on that and this is what you're going to want to click on ragebreak.sh now it's possible that if you double click on this it's not going to open up and you're gonna get a pop-up just like this so just click OK right here and then we're gonna right click on it and then just click open and then click open again and then you shouldn't have any issues with it now just go ahead and make sure that your device is plugged in it can be turned on doesn't have to be in a DFU mode just yet or anything just plug it in and we're gonna type in one and we're gonna hit enter and then we're gonna type in our Mac username mine is Cody and then it's going to start installing everything so it's gonna install uh, open snow as well as some other things and if you get some pop-ups during this like you need to install Xcode or uh, JDK or anything like that go ahead and download those and install them and then run this process over again because I mean I had to do that because I didn't have uh, Xcode and I didn't have JDK so I went ahead and installed that and then run this process again so make sure that it's installed close out of the ragebreak.sh open ragebreak.sh up again hit one type in your Mac username and hit enter and then start this whole process again because it's not going to work properly if you install it after the fact that that it needed it so go ahead and do that and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and speed up through this because it has to download a bunch of files and my internet's not that fast so I'm gonna speed through this and I'll meet you at the other side alright so if you get this pop-up right here where it says replace the DS store yes no all none or rename what you wanna do is go ahead and type a capital A and hit enter now this is only if you go through this process more than once it's not going to do this if it, if you're doing this for your first time but since I've already done this I'm gonna hit a and hit enter and it's gonna reinstall all that good stuff also if you get this pop-up reversed or previously applied patch detected assume minus R in just hit enter and hit enter again and just hit enter a few times and it should go through Alright, so now you get a prompt to put your phone into DFU mode and then press enter. So before I do that, let me just go ahead and show you guys that I am on iOS 7. Go into the settings here, general, about, and there you can see I'm on 7.0.3. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my device into DFU mode. To do that, make sure your device is connected to your Mac and then go ahead and turn it off. And then once it's completely turned off, what we're going to do is hold the power button for 3 seconds and then press and hold the home button for 10 seconds while continuing to hold the power button. And then we're going to let go of the power button after that 10 seconds and continue holding that home button. And once this dial goes away, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Alright, so it's off. So tap and hold on the uh, power button. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until it kicks into DFU mode. And you should know that it kicks into DFU mode once iTunes pops up and says right there that iTunes has detected a iPhone in recovery mode. So now we know that we're in DFU mode. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click out of this, out of iTunes. And we're just going to hit enter in the terminal. So hit enter. This will open the SSHRD tool. Hit enter again and do it one more time. So you can see here that it opened up a new window and it's just SSHing in. That's kind of hard to say. But once it's done, I'll show you what you need to do.
All right, so now you're gonna see that your phone looks like it's in restore mode right here. It's actually not restoring. So what you wanna do here is click on this terminal right here where it says once the SSH RD tool is done and you are in restore mode, press enter. So just click right here, press enter. And it says the password you're going to need is Alpine. And you're probably going to have to enter this a lot. So go ahead and hit enter again and enter your Mac username. Mine's Cody. And here is the password. So just type in Alpine. Type it in again. Alpine again. Alpine again. So now it says all windows will close. Now just reopen and boot, press enter. So now we're going to hit enter. All right, and it should open up this terminal right here. So we're just gonna bring it right over here. And you can see that our device is still in that restore mode. So what we wanna do is put this in the DFU mode so we can boot it. All right, so go ahead and put your device into DFU mode again. All right, so if you get stuck in recovery mode like I did, then all you're gonna do is put it back into DFU mode. So just hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. So ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let go of the power button, continue holding the home button, and it should kick into DFU mode. So just continue holding this. Now I'm not gonna get a pop-up because I already have a pop-up on iTunes, but just continue holding the home button here for a good 15 seconds or so and it should be in DFU mode by now so let's go ahead and put that down and now all you're going to do is boot this depending on which device you have so you can see here the options for 2, 3, and 4 is for GSM AT&T for 2 GSM Rev A for 3 CDMA Verizon for 4 and I have a GSM AT&T so I'm just going to hit 2 hit enter and it should start to uh, boot your device All right, so you can see here that it's actually booted up now. And if we swipe over, you're gonna see that there is no city on there just yet. Now, what you wanna do is hit enter on your Mac, and you're gonna see you're going to install Cydia. So just hit five, hit enter, type in your Mac username and your IP address. Now, to get your IP address, what you wanna do is go into your settings. Let me pick this up. And we're going to go into Wi-Fi, and then just hit the I right here. When you hit the I, it's going to give you that IP address. So you can see here, mine is 192.168.1.7. So let's go ahead and put that in. So 192.168.1.7. And then we hit enter. So if you get this pop-up that says the authenticity of host, and your IP address can't be established, our key, all that good stuff. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Just type in yes and hit enter. Now type in the passcode and that's going to be Alpine. Type in Alpine again. All right, so at this point you're pretty close to done and you can see a little dial there on your iPhone. Now, if it kicks you into recovery mode like it just did with me, all you wanna do is put it back into DFU mode. Again, just hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. So ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna let go of the power button, continue holding the home button, and just hold that for a good 15 seconds or so until it kicks into DFU mode. So we'll start at five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we're in DFU mode. We're gonna hit enter on the terminal and then we're going to boot it again just by hitting two and it should go ahead and boot up. Now keep in mind, this is a tethered jailbreak. That means you are going to have to boot it with rage break every time that you reboot or if your phone dies on you. All right, so it's booted up now. So let's go ahead and swipe over here, swipe over here, and there is Cydia. And I'll show you that it works if we just go ahead and open it up.
and we're going to be a user hit done and there is iOS 7 jailbroken again I'll show you the iOS that I'm on here 7.0.3 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos and tutorials then go ahead and subscribe all right guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com